Italian Rainbow Cookies When we talk about cookies, the options we have are endless, and among them are so super delicious ones just like the rainbow cookies. Italian Rainbow Cookies will make any cookie platter cheerful, trust me. The raspberry and apricot jam combination used as a filling between layers of almond cake is amazing. And when it's covered in chocolate frosting, the taste is out of this world. These cookies taste much better than the ones found in bakeries and are incredibly simple to make. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Cookie and today I'm back with the yummiest cookie recipe again and this time these are Italian rainbow cookies. If you're looking for some cookie inspiration, then you really don't want to miss this one, so keep watching. Let me give you a disclaimer. Your family will fall in love with these completely. These cookies are the best you'll ever have. The rainbow cookies I've recently tried from bakeries frequently have a very dry texture and little almond flavor. The almond flavor is the dominant one in these cookies, and it is present in both the almond paste and the pure almond extract that we'll be using for this recipe. But because the imitation does not taste like almond, pure almond extract is essential. Now, regarding the almond paste, you can typically find it in the supermarket's baking section. It ought to be gentle. In the past, I've purchased almond paste that was extremely hard and it ruined my recipes. It only takes a few simple ingredients and a short amount of time to make an almond paste at home. So let's start with our almond paste first. Ingredients for almond paste. So for this paste, you'll be needing two cups, 160 grams of blanched almond flour, one cup of confectioner sugar. You'll also need a little bit of salt. So I'll just add a quarter teaspoon of it. Then we'll need two egg whites only, no yolks. And lastly, one teaspoon of pure almond extract. Method of making almond paste. Now I'll take a bowl and add all of these ingredients. I'll just grab my hand mixer and combine all the ingredients and beat until a dough is formed. The almond paste can either be used right away for the rainbow cookies or can be kept in the refrigerator for a few days in an airtight container. And remember, before mixing it into the dough for the rainbow cookies, let it come to room temperature. This recipe makes a sizable number of cookies. Particularly during the holidays, I would make a double batch because they make delectable presents and are obviously perfect additions to cookie platters. They freeze superbly, up to two or three months, and you'll find them equally delicious even after two months. For all of those who don't have time for the last moment bake, bake the layers of almond cake, then assemble the cookies with the jam sandwiched in between. Then freeze them after wrapping them firmly in several layers of plastic wrap. As chocolate tends to crack and turn gray in the freezer, I would spread the chocolate on them just before serving. Okay, now let's see what you'll be needing for these cookies. Ingredients for cookies. First, obviously, the almonds are quite important. So we'll use this almond paste that we just made here. I prefer using one pound of this almond paste. Then we have here, one and a half cups of granulated sugar. Then you'll also need some unsalted softened butter and I have set aside 12 ounces of it. Then comes the second most important ingredient to give the vibe of almonds, the pure almond extract. We'll use just a teaspoon of it. I've never used as many eggs in a cookie as this one. Over here, these are six eggs at room temperature that will go into our cookie dough. We also have flour here. This is two cups of all-purpose flour. Then just a pinch or a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'll also be adding red and green gel food coloring. And obviously these cookies are incomplete without jam. I'll be using apricot jam and raspberry jam here. And lastly, six ounces of semi-sweet chocolate plus one tablespoon of unsalted butter. Ready to mix them up? Let's get started. Method. I'll take a large bowl or the bowl of a mixer and combine the butter, sugar, almond paste, and almond extract in the bowl. You'll be needing a mixer with a paddle attachment. I'll keep beating at a high speed until fluffy and thick. Now we'll add our eggs one by one. Don't rush this process and don't add them all of a sudden. Let's beat them into the other ingredients until the mixture looks fluffy. Now I'll just add the salt to the flour and mix it up. Now we'll add it gradually to the mixer in small batches and set our mixer at low speed to mix it up. Now the batter looks ready. I'll just take three different bowls and add an equal quantity of each of them so the batter is perfectly divided into three parts. Now we'll add our food coloring to two of them. Here goes the red food coloring in one bowl. I'll mix it to get that amazing red color. Perfect. Now the second bowl will have to be green. So I'll add my food coloring here and mix it well. The third bowl will remain unchanged. No food coloring is needed for this one. Now in the prepared pans, evenly distribute the batter. 
I have three pans set here with parchment paper and we'll get the mixture to the whole pan evenly. Here goes the green one. Now let's pour in the red one. And lastly, we have the third pan here for the white one. Let's put them in the oven and let them bake for a good 12 to 15 minutes. Bake until the mixture is set and a toothpick inserted into the center of the dish comes out clean. Now allow them to completely cool. Okay, one part is done. I'll now put a piece of parchment paper on a cutting board or in the back of a tray. Spread the apricot jam evenly on the top of the green cookie layer after transferring it to the paper. Then I'll remove the parchment paper from the white layer and place it on top. I'll make the pink layer and place it on top of the raspberry jam. Don't forget to remove the parchment paper. Now let's melt the chocolate. I'll use a double boiler or you can also use a microwave to melt the chocolate. The chocolate is melted and we'll just whisk in the butter until the mixture is smooth. Over the top of the pink layer, we'll evenly distribute the chocolate. The cookie should be chilled or frozen until the chocolate has hardened. Let's slice them into tiny rectangles and refrigerate them. You can also freeze these cookies. Thank you for staying with me. I hope you really enjoyed baking with me. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel on your way out. See you next time with another amazing recipe. Happy baking!